What's really good people? We are back with another brand new Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we're going against Andre and it seems that we both brought a few lesser used Pokemon, which is pretty funny because we didn't plan this at all. I have a uh, Incineroar on my team and a Lantern on my team and he has a Melodic and a Passimian and just but we just have a bunch of weird stuff but um anyways go ahead and hit that like button if you guys have been enjoying these wi-fi battles I'm gonna be trying to upload at least one every day uh, but here we go we're gonna go ahead and start off the battle he's gonna lead off with his Passimian. i'm gonna go ahead and lead off with my necrozma just to set up the rocks uh you know do some stuff like that we always gotta have some kind of rocks or some kind of hazards on the field it's just standard i really don't like teams that don't have stealth rocks uh, on them and I don't like teams that don't have a way to get rid of stealth rocks on them because I just feel like it's such a pivotal thing that you need to have uh, you get so much free damage from things like stealth rocks that are just so necessary in my eyes but um, he's actually going to U-turn out to his Marowak as I set up these stealth rocks this is a bit more of an offensive Necrozma it has stealth rocks and like three attacking moves uh, you know just to you know offset the standard Necrozma set honestly I think that this set might be a bit better because he doesn't really need the bulk most of the time, the Krasma only sets up the rocks and then he's done. Like, that's it. Uh, but here I'm going to go for the Psychic because I don't want to switch out into anything. I don't have anything to take a hit from Marowak straight up like this. So I'm just going to stay in, go for the Psychic, get some damage, and he's going to kill me off with a Shadow Bone, which is perfectly fine because I did my job. I got my rocks up. He actually doesn't have a way to get them off the field, so that's perfectly fine for me. I'm going to go out to my Incineroar. And I'm gonna go straight for the Darkest Lair because I'm very curious to see how much damage this will do to his uh, Milotic that I just know for a fact is gonna come out. And even if the Milotic didn't come out, obviously I'd still hit the Marowak and kill it. But like I said, I'm very curious to see how much damage this did. I could have gone for the U-turn here. My uh, Incineroar is Choice Scarf. I got this team from uh, Joey actually, and Joey passed it to me from one of his uh, comments on his Smogon page that because a lot of people leave teams there. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to go check there for uh, some teams, but either way, um, this team is not really mine. I'm just testing it out. I'm just messing with a bunch of different things. And this team had a Scarfed Incineroar on it, which is why I picked it in the first place, because I wanted to try that out. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I could have gone for the U-turn there, but I just really, really wanted to see how much damage uh, Incineroar would do with that Darkest Laird. And he did like a 30%, I'd say, so that's not too bad. And also, uh, even if the Milotic did come out, I had this Lantern in the back. Milotic can absolutely do nothing to this Lantern. I have Rest, Sleep Talk, Volt Switch, and Scald on this thing, I believe. Um, so I'm not really too worried about this. So as he withdraws, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch because I didn't think he'd go out to, my, uh, to his Marowak, excuse me. Uh, and he doesn't. He goes to Passimian, not quite sure why. Um, but obviously, he's not going to switch in a Marowak into a Water-type Pokemon unless he... Uh, <laughs> I mean, he could have because, yeah, I am an Electric-type Pokemon out against the Water Pokemon. But if I had gone for the Scald or something like that, uh, he would have had a bad time. So I'm going to go out to my Celestial here, the Wall. Uh, this thing is actually specially defensive, but I didn't think he'd stay in to find out whether I was physically defensive or not. Celestial is pretty threatening. I can Air Slash him. I can Leech Seed him. So uh, he's actually going to go for the U-Turn himself just to get up out of there. He might as well if he was uh, you know, really intending to switch. Uh, and he's actually going to go out to Shiny Vickable. I think Shiny Vickable is one of the coolest Shinies in the game. I just wish he was just a bit faster, man. Why did they make him so damn slow? He's like base 43 speed or something weird like that. It's just completely unusable. It's disgusting. It's way too slow. Disgusting. <laughs> now, it does get agility, but is it really worth it in the end? You might as well just run a fast Pokemon. Like, it's just terrible. I really wish Vickavolt was better because he was actually one of my favorite looking Pokemon. Like, I really, really, really wanted to use him and make him be good. But anyways, whatever. Um, this guy is going to make a very, very good play right now. It's very obvious that I was going to switch to the Pokemon that completely walled Vickavolt in my eyes. But little did I know, this thing gets energy ball. I had no clue he got energy ball. Just, that thing chunked me super hard. I was expecting the Thunderbolt, of course. It was a little bit obvious that I switched to Lantern, so I don't, you know, obviously he's he should have gone for energy ball, and he did, and he chunked me super hard. Um, because like I said, it's super obvious that I'm gonna switch to a Pokemon that can absorb electric moves. Uh, but either way, I didn't expect to get hit with a super effective energy ball. That did so much damage. I'm so scared of Vickavolt. I understand why he's slow if he can do things like that. If he can chunk a wall that hard, Obviously, he should be like on the slower side, maybe. But either way, he's just a little bit too slow, don't you think? Anyways, I'm gonna go for the uh, switch to Celestial because I didn't think he'd go for an electric type move, even though the switch kind of, I don't know, because if I had stayed in and he's an electric type move, I would have gained all my HP back. He would have, you know, taken another hit, possibly, and uh, been at a much worse position. 
So I switched back to Celestial expecting an another energy ball and uh, I'm gonna go for the protect here because I do have protect. Um, but I guess he predicts that and actually switches out to his Marowak. Good play on his part because he's gonna get some pressure from this uh, because I am gonna be forced to let something get hit by his Flare Blitz. So I'm gonna protect, I'm gonna switch out and go to my Incineroar because I can actually take everything he can do but Earthquake. So if he uses any move but Earthquake, I'll be in a prime position. If he goes for the Flare Blitz, he'll probably die to recoil damage and I'll be in with a Choice Scarf Incineroar that I can just you know get out of any situation where I can U-turn out, I can go for a Flare Blitz or a Darkest Lariat if I need to, all that good stuff. So um, he's going to go for the Flare Blitz, like I said, he's gonna actually kill himself, but he's gonna take half of my HP with him and then he's actually going to go to this Passimian here. And I don't want to switch anything into this monster. This thing actually has like base 120 attack. It's pretty strong. It's just not that fast. But in this case, he's fast enough because he's Scarfed. I'm Scarfed. He's faster than me. So he's going to be able to attack first. He's just going to take me out with a close combat. Close combat looks absolutely insane in this game. You just get blown back out of nowhere. <laughs> But yeah, he's gonna take out my Incineroar with the close combat. Not a big deal. I have Pokemon for this thing. I have a uh, Tapu Lele in the back. I probably could have switched it in there, uh, but I just didn't want to risk it. I didn't want him to U-turn. I didn't want my Tapu Lele to take damage if it uh, you know, didn't have to. And I didn't really think I needed my Incineroar anymore anyways. So I'm gonna send out my Tapu Lele, get up the Psychic Terrain. This is a very, very, very obvious play. I probably didn't even have to make it, but I went for the HP Fire expecting Scizor to come in. Even though I probably could have just two hit KO'd the Scizor with Psychic because I would have sent out uh, my Tapu Lele. He would have switched to Scizor. Choice Spec Psychic from Tapu Lele is hitting way too hard, by the way. Trust me. So I could have just gone for the Psychic. Uh, uh, I probably would definitely would have two hit KO'd the Scizor regardless because he actually can't bullet punch me in Psychic Terrain because what Psychic Terrain does is it nullifies priority moves. You can't use any priority moves in Psychic Terrain, and it boosts the power of Psychic type moves by 50%, as well as reducing the uh, power of Fighting type moves by 50%. So I definitely could have just gone for two Psychics and taken that thing out. He definitely should have gone straight to his Arcanine, um, by the way. I don't know why you went out to Vigavolt first instead of directly to Arcanine, because I'm pretty sure <laughs> you can take an HP Fire, man. So uh, he, he went out to his Vicavolt and I just HP fired that as well when he could have just gone out to Arcanine and forced me to switch out. Uh, but either way, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Perp Slurp, just as Death Potter. I don't want him to uh, take out my Tapu Lele quite yet because I'm pretty sure Tapu Lele can finish the game because I'm actually not in the best of positions at this moment in time. I lose my uh, Lantern here and at this moment, I don't really have anything to deal with an Arcanine. So what I'm gonna do is actually go out to my Celesteela allow him to flare blitz it and hopefully he'll kill himself in recoil damage because i uh, i don't really have anything to take a hit from this thing at all uh nothing i have will live a hit from a uh, life orb flare blitz from arcanine so i'm gonna send out my celestial like i said he's at max hp uh if he attacks me and kills me with flare blitz he should lose his uh, own life to his own life orb and recoil damage and that's exactly what happened i think it was like just enough for him to die from life orb there which is pretty great because now i'm going to be able to send out my tapu lele and just finish everything off with a couple psychics so uh choice specs tapu lele guys is ridiculous it hits way too hard on the special side it's insane that Sizzler definitely would have got two hit KO'd if I had just gone straight for the Psychic. I probably should have just gone straight for the Psychic, honestly. I think I might have just swept his entire team with Psychic at that point. Uh, but either way, he's going to send out his Passimian after I kill his Milotic off with a Psychic. And then I'm going to take out the Passimian with a Psychic as well. So that was a good game. Um, I forgot this dude's Twitch. I, I got to write down the Twitch names. It was started with an S. But the in-game name is Andre, so I'm just going to name the battle uh, versus Andre. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are wondering how I changed the background, I will leave the link to that tutorial in the description. It's actually pretty simple. It takes like two seconds if you guys are actually trying to use these uh, Citra Wi-Fi battles. <laughs> I really, really love the way the battles look. I, I don't think I can ever go back to normal uh, Wi-Fi battles, so I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys hit that like button, show your support, leave a comment. Uh, I'm trying to pick up teams that have the Pokemon you guys have been uh, suggesting me. So keep leaving your comments about which Pokemon you want me uh, want me to use. Today I used Tapu Lele because somebody was asking me to use Tapu Lele. Um, so like I said, leave your comments in the comment section. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm out of here. Bye.